Welcome to Beginning Cooks. Today I'm going to make orange dreamsicle bread. So this is bread that seeks to imitate the popular ice cream. I got the recipe on a website called Chef and Training, posted by someone named Nikki. It sounds amazingly delicious, and I really want to try it. So make it with me. I would recommend first get out some of your ingredients to come to room temperature. You need five regular eggs, so five large eggs. You need eight ounces of cream cheese, a fourth cup of butter, and one and a quarter cups of whole milk. So let that warm for a little bit while we prepare everything else. Then you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you want to grease and flour three loaf pans, three 8x4s or three 9x5s. So start with some vegetable shortening or animal fat. Rub down the insides of all three pans. Spread it evenly. Now pour in a little bit of flour. That was way too much. If that happens, that's okay. You can pour it back into your container and spread it around equally between your three containers. So spread it around, hit the sides. Okay, that's a greased and floured loaf pan. So do that with all three and return any extra flour you have to your container. Now in a large mixer, you need two and a quarter cups of white sugar. There's slightly under two cups. There's our quarter cup. You need one and a third cup of vegetable oil. Three eggs. Our one and a quarter cups of whole milk that have warmed to room temperature. A quarter cup of fresh squeezed orange juice and three teaspoons of orange extract. One, two, and three. Now beat all these together until smooth. Start slow. All right, I would say that's nice and smooth. Now add in three cups of flour. There's one, two, and three. Now we need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There's one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, and you need one and a half teaspoons of salt. There's one teaspoon, and half a teaspoon. Now mix these together until well incorporated. Start on slow so that your flour doesn't fly everywhere. At this point, if you want, you can add in drops of orange food coloring, one at a time, mixing until it's the color you desire. I'm just going to avoid that step altogether, but if you really want that bright orange color, go for it. Now split up half of your batter between all three of your loaf pans. Not all your batter, half of it, because we're going to do a cream cheese filling. So I'd say that's about half of my batter. Maybe slightly more, but that's all right. Now we need to beat together our cream cheese filling. So you need your eight ounces of softened cream cheese, a third cup of sugar, our final two eggs that we left out to warm up, and one tablespoon of flour. Beat all those together. Start slow. Divide this cream cheese filling 
equally between all your loaf pans. And we're not splitting this one in half because it goes in the center. So we're using all of it. All right, and if you would like, you can use a butter knife to kind of help make a swirling pattern. Again, if you had a thicker mixture, this would work better. Really make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. Now divide out the remainder of your orange batter on top of everything. And again, use a spoon if you need it to scoop everything out. Yeah, I definitely should have let my cream cheese warm up some more. It would have been a thicker mixture that way. Now insert these into your oven for 50 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. When your bread is about 10 or 15 minutes from being done cooking, pour half a cup of heavy whipping cream and just let it sit out. It's going to come to room temperature and we're going to use it to make our icing. All right, it's been 40 minutes for me, a little shy of the 50, but my oven runs a little hot. When I put in my toothpick and pull it out, it comes out dry. A few little crumbs are okay. You just don't want it to be very doughy when you pull it out. So pull these out of your oven and put them on a nice cooling rack. So come in with a butter knife, run it around the edges, and this will loosen it up. But if you greased your pans well enough, they're not going to stick at all. Take your pans and gently flip them over. There we go. You can flip each loaf as well. Set it on the rack and let it cool. Do the same with both pans. Let them cool completely to room temperature. Now that our orange dreamsicle bread has sat out for a few minutes and has gotten close to room temperature, let's begin our icing. You need a fourth a cup of softened butter. That is half a stick. Beat it until it's nice and creamy. If it's really soft, it won't take long. Now add two cups of powdered sugar. There's one. There's two. Add your half cup of whipping cream that we had sitting out. And a teaspoon of orange extract. And blend all these together. Starting slow. I currently need to buy another icing spatula, so I'm just going to use a spoon. But otherwise, an icing spatula would work well. Or if you have a frosting bag. But just divide up your frosting among your three loaves and spread it nice and smoothly. I got a little piece of my orange dreamsicle bread here. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that's really good. The icing is nice and orange and sweet. It's got a little bit of milkiness to it because of the heavy whipping cream. The actual bread itself, very fluffy, not super dense. It too has an orange flavor, but it's more of a hint compared to the icing. They pair super well together. This was incredibly easy. Not a lot of unordinary ingredients that you wouldn't already have in your kitchen if you bake. And it really only took maybe two hours at the most. So if you want some delicious orange dreamsicle bread, here it is. And if you like this video, please subscribe. You'll be so proud of yourself with all the amazing things you can make. Even if you're a beginner, you can do it. Thanks for watching.